So, we had a fight in the ring. I think get one. And now, he will try to drag Sunny ringside. We're clutching and cameling them to break her back and make her humble. Yeah. Sunny didn't do a single stunner in the previous match. Which was her finisher in WCW. And she also used to do cross bodies. And her moves it was like three moves. Uh, a stunner, cross body and uh, and a body stunner, I think. Late ca later cats uh, uh, had a pretty decent move set, but as she answered in the interview, I wasn't taught to wrestle. I was taught to wrestle a specific match. So she used to have decent rehearsed matches, but she knew like which move comes after what instead of. Um, Like being able to improvise. I could find much less matches with Sunny wrestling. Mostly as Tammy in WCW, so if you want to see her actually wrestle. Not just manage people. That would be her last, uh, last years of her career. Can we throw her into WSW sign? Uh, kinda, not really. Uh, I think this this won't let us go. No, we we, we did go through dragging her like a blonde locks. Okay. I have this rule that says brawl for all and um uh, we will go. So yeah. Uh unfortunately all the donations I got in last month I had to use it to finally buy a new phone. Not even up an upgrade, just to buy a phone, so I could, like, budget uh, Xiaomi, uh, because I, otherwise I won't be able to even go to the bank, because uh, they check, when you're at the cashier, they check it with an SMS. And I used that screen from my previous ZT for as much as I could, like, it's... It cracked uh, early on when we started power downs. I lost my sleep, my hands were trembling, uh, and I um, dropped it on the corner on the edge. And uh, when you drop phone on the uh, on the uh, on its face, most glass can hold on, but uh, it's the corners, and I. Oh. I didn't have a bumper, like e a bumper case, you know, that little silicon thingy.
and uh, that meant that even if the glass was protected, uh, the sides were not, and I kept using a cracked phone, but uh, when like f all four corners cracked, the uh, the same corner uh, cracked one more time, and the glass hit the matrix. Despite it being IT whatever, uh, not AMOLED screen, but. Uh, IPS matrix, which is uh, more durable, it get damaged and it, it now shows static on the screen. I could barely decipher the accept call button to take the money from bank, to take out cash and... So, I was l lightless, phoneless, and moneyless briefly. Now I'm just moneyless. But at least I can actually... Uh, I can't actually call anyone because I forgot to up my... Uh, to uh, f fill my phone with money, how you call it. Uh, I have no phone internet now, but I'm not sure if it's even, if it's even needed because... Uh, when we have, uh, basically we have the mobile tower right outside my house, so when there's no light, so I cannot use Wi-Fi at home, I cannot use internet, uh, mobile data either, because mobile data is from the same tower that gets turned off when there's a blackout. Uh, if uh, if we say like I, I'm Ukrainian, if there's a, a, a saying that if we tell you we're okay, we're not. We just uh, can't always talk about how bad everything is because uh, kinds of life has to go on. We don't like moping around, but. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's not, not bad. Uh, there should be a mod that... They should have Legos as... Um, as an item to pick up. So... Uh, uh, it's an item like thumbtacks. There was a Lego match. I've seen a match with step uh, barefoot Lego match. That's sadism. Legit, legit evil. And the cat power bombs Sunny through the table on the thumbtacks and puts her into camel clutch. Um. She gets a point. That's a, it's a bitch for wearing the same shorts. Indeed, uh, this match was uh, requested under influence from uh, Sunny's arm wrestling match with uh, Marlene, I think, and the Cat versus Ivory rivalry. Right to Sansar versus right to nudity. And they had. Uh, I was asked to make it specifically blue, but I thought those are, were silver shorts and tops. The only difference with their outfits was that Sunny didn't have elbow and knee pads. But we fixed it. And yeah, I know these are not like the smallest shorts possible. But what do you expect uh, in this game? It isn't uh, the most erotic wrestling game ever. You can't like put a thong or something on someone or 
or whatever. And these are like the smallest shards there are. Can we slam her face onto the uh, chair? Yes! The chairwoman cometh. Come on, sunny boy. Mm. So yeah, uh, uh, if I'm cheerful, that's because I managed to stop thinking about explosions for a second. Uh, uh, one of my streaming streamer friends said uh, he, he's never playing military games anymore. He's playing horror instead. Because uh, it's uh, more therapeutic, and I'm playing uh, fighting fighters and RPGs. It's hard for me to uh, play Mass Effect, my favorite series, because uh, so many situations are relatable, especially the part where the council doesn't believe Shepard that it's reapers and saying that it's just it's just the geth reapers are a myth and this is kind of what we were told that oh it's not russians it's just separatists it's not russian army no it, it was russian army since 2014 it's eight years of uh war and a lot of people just stopped doing things they used to as in like a lot of things we just can't do anymore. For example, I have a friend who cannot play video games anymore. Uh, another who used to play guitar and haven't played it for nine years now. Since, not the full-scale war, but since the, the... The war. I can't go to the same shops I used to uh, before that. Uh, others can, but I don't think I'll ever... I would be ever able to watch cinema in the shop where my family used to work and where... which was attacked with missiles. So hard my windows were shaking. I mean, the store is restored. I mean, I psychologically cannot return there. I, I, for entertainment. And, um... Uh, Uh, there were people who just build their house in like uh, Donetsk and then they had to drop it uh, when Russian soldiers invaded and then there are the people who uh, like well my aunt was living in Crimea she had to flee with, without she didn't have real estate there but she had things she lived there for years and she had to drop everything just to save her life you, like, it's not just some uh, war abroad, it's a full-scale war against the biggest country in the world, and it's, it's painful, it's, uh, people, when people say that, oh, you should do something for peace, we try to negotiate for seven, eight years, right now we just want Russia destroyed. Uh, I don't give a crap about uh, what they think or they feel. We had so much, and the uh, cup is so overfilled that there's only anger left. 
and uh... there's uh at the same time a lot of things to say and not much things to say. And... Uh, you see these boxes? The power boxes? <clears throat> uh, we have like uh, one of these on every floor in our apartment complex. And we had... Uh, we have like four four uh, meters in each one meter for each apartment and at some point uh, so I have a surge protector uh, installed called voltage relay you can see those on Amazon they're like little white boxes with uh, a few buttons and a three-digit counter on them and the, the counter shows the voltage uh, if the voltage is too high or too low the equipment starts to malfunction and might break uh, i've heard a story about a woman crying bowing her eyes out uh, uh, my neighbor's friend because her fridge just burned it stopped working because of those surges and not just, not only she can't buy a new fridge because good luck finding a job during the war. Uh, she also lost food and people stuck up on food because of the war. You generally make, uh, uh, you generally try to uh, get more get more things to uh, save in case of force majeure uh, and the whole war is a force majeure uh, and I, some people just keep their food uh, uh, on the balcony or something because it's cold enough, but uh, or, uh, at least you can turn off the fridge and not uh, get, not lose it. So that circuit, little circuit breaker boxes. Uh, uh, mm. I have a, a relay there, and I usually walk out uh, when uh, the lights are off. I sometimes, uh, it's not in my apartment, it's like on the, uh, the uh, walkway with the staircase. So outside of an apartment, you get um, uh, this boxy. With like four, let me look here. With circuit breakers, with uh, uh, and with like four meters uh, usually. And uh, I heard like sizzling, uh, like scratching, uh, and there were sparkles. And uh, that was my relay um, malfunctioning. I had to call an electrician to uh, feed it because one time I noticed that everyone else has the light, but uh, my apartment does not. And we spent two days uh, without light completely. Then the electrician could come. It, 
tried to fix the wiring. We were lucky that I had from the previous repairs, I had some wires, extra wires left. Uh, all the aluminium wiring, which is kind of bad. Uh, and uh, he fixed it and we had a light for like a whole hour or two where we charged everything because then there was the planned, the planned blackout. Uh, which is to save electricity because uh, our power lines are so damaged. And... DDT on the grating should be very, very painful. And... Uh, after we had that light, we had... Um, because the central heating gets turned off uh, when there's total blackout, uh, in the building that's control central heating, not near my house, but like away. For the, it controls like the whole district. So because of that problem, we had the uh, radiators start leaking because there's a there's a cog thingy that's screwed on, and it was. Um, It's a kind of, because of, uh, it's uh, the rapid change between heat, uh, it started dropping, I, I went to my bed and seen it's, it's uh, wet, and the water is like, the whole water was, uh, there was no water in the house, in the tap, because again, there was another Russian missile attack, but the only water that was actually uh, going was the one from my radiator, it was dripping on the floor, I got, uh, bowls to collect it, towels and uh, everything to wipe what's put down and spent several hours just collecting it as my roommate called the uh, services for whom I had to wake up because uh, she was sleeping and oh no the accolade! And... So a day in the darkness, then a day uh, when in the morning we repaired light for an all hour, then we were without water, but with water dripping from the radiator, so without heating too. And then we had... Uh, we managed to... Uh, 20 minutes wait waiting line for the... for the uh, repairs to come in. Let's put her on the table. Let's see cat getting destroy it and I'll keep talking about uh, my wick <laughs> and um, mm. Mm. We fixed everything in that day, 
most of the day was just waiting in line for the uh, repair guys and a free menu and the next day there was a total blackout despite uh, fixing everything but uh, when the light went on a day after that uh, our uh, it went like you see this thing that like, like imagine in the box like four uh, four meters and in a checkerboard pattern uh, two were uh, light uh, lit up and two were dark and ours were uh, the dark ones because uh, a big uh, power room like the electricity shield how you call it in english um, basically a room with with a lot of big things like that uh, switches i guess uh, more like more like this the room with this big thing uh, with this big thing it uh, it isn't in our walkway it's in the same building but it's locked so we could not enter it and it's several days were spent trying to slam on the chairs Slam on the concrete. Stunner. And uh, we had, uh, we called an electrician and he finally fixed it the next day. He replaced a few components and it's uh, and then a day after it worked but it worked only for an hour and then the fuse blew up so for the whole week we had like this is good uh two days of power and then a blackout a day later i spent the entire day running around trying to find anyone who would repair stuff and by the end of the week, everything got fixed. Uh, the um, <laughs> she keeps holding her on, not letting her go away. And for the whole week, my power, I have a huge power bank that's like uh well huge when i bought it, it was very big uh 20 k milliamp hours which is like filling a phone a modern phone four times or the older phone uh five times and in a week it was zero i had to charge my phone at neighbors just to call a repairman because as I said, we had repairs actually four times because there were two repairs on the uh, on the relay. It had to be rewired completely, and uh, two repairs on the big uh, switchboard outside of. Uh, so two repairs on like the little switchboard uh, out right outside my apartment, and two repairs on the larger one in the next building. That's not counting the repairs far, far away. That uh, I don't know how they are doing them. That's absolutely insane. What these people, the absolute mad lads from the tech and then NS, whatever, the repair guys are doing. So we had four repairs and only three hours of electricity for the whole week. This was one of the worst weeks here. And uh, I'm not even near the front. Frontline cities have it way worse. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later.